present here a hearty welcome to all of you on behalf of the entire dps faridabad fraternity to today's event a fun filled musical presentation by the young students of class 5 we are extremely happy to have amongst us all our worthy guests we would like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to all our parents and grandparents who are here with us today we promise that today you will witness some great acting and dancing all our friends have put their heart and soul into today's presentation and to put together a scintillating show that is a celebration of our talent a show which is full of brilliant performances a show which will leave you in awe a show which will hugely applaud we start by welcoming our chief guest for the day mr rajdeep man member manager committee dps faridabad an appreciation we will request principal sir to do the honors please identifying guests for today's function and tomorrow's function and the two functions which went that is yesterday and day before so we had a talk with different people all together but i firmly believe that whatever has to happen happens some communication gap we may say some communication error we may call it was placed for rajdeep yesterday 
and then we met yesterday and I requested him, he said, Satyat ka toh dikkat hai nahi, 29 was a little bit of a problem. So, he said, I am available tomorrow. Then I told him, if you are available tomorrow, you must come. Because the theme of the program, today which you are going to witness, there cannot be anybody else more apt than Rajdeep to be the chief guest today. And when I say this, I have a, uh, I need to introduce a little bit on that. We have a theme, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie is a, is a boy, what is being explained to me, I have not read the story. She told me that some 50 years ago, the author Del, D A H L, right, wrote this, and then it has come in this shape, what we are seeing today. But this boy Charlie is full of virtues, good human qualities, and has a chocolate factory. So, Rajdeep has all those with him. Therefore, I say this, he has a chocolate factory, he has those qualities, so who else can be the best chief guest on a day when I call it the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We extend a hearty welcome to you, Rajdeep. Madam Man, I'll say it was a short notice for Rajdeep, much, much shorter for Madam Man. But then she insisted that she will ensure that Rajdeep is here. <laughs> and again, that God is so kind that in the process of getting across to some Russian embassy people, Senya has promised that the ambassador will be here soon, the Russian ambassador. And Senya is the one who is managing the art and culture center of Russian embassy in India and don't go by looks. She knows perfect Hindi better than us. She knows perfect Sanskrit. She knows English. Obviously she knows Russian. Two more languages. French and Spanish. So a day which is blessed so beautifully that people, those who know what the chocolates are, because I firmly believe I don't. I have developed some taste of it and maybe in last about 20 odd years. Not that, that you don't like sweet things when you are young, your taste buds are strong, so you obviously like very sweet things and all. But there are chocolates which are bitter in nature as well and people love them also. So perhaps when I will grow another 10 year old, I will love them because my taste buds will go down by then. And then obviously I will also say the dark chocolates are good. It's indeed so, it's indeed such a blessing that it is the Almighty who decides what all and how is that to operate. When it works as per your plan, you feel, oh, we have done it. When it doesn't work with your plan, you feel dejected. You should not. So yesterday's play was telling us, in the sorrows, don't be dejected. And in the joy, don't be overjoyed. But I feel like being overjoyed today with this cosmic connection with the play today and the guests present here. When I say this, all the fortunate parents who are sitting in front of me and the lovely children, those are just, I can feel their foot tapping there at the back. So I can continue with my talk a little. The moment they are settled down, I will come back and I will sit down. It's indeed a pleasure when the blessed institution with the intent and thought which is so positive for these children, I'm sure it is going to grow much better, much faster, much sooner. Silencing is on at the back. So thank you very much, dear parents. I will not hold you for long between you and children. Thank you.
energy and hope to explore the unexplored and never settle for anything but the best. Me now request Chief Guest Sir to share his thoughts with us. Headmistress, teachers, parents, grandparents, and Pyare Pyare Bacho. I'm so running with a bad sword, won't be able to speak too much. But uh, the, song, uh, the song which was sung just now has been brilliantly prepared by uh, teachers, I'm sure. And I'm really excited to see how... I've seen the movie uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've already seen the movie. And I'm really excited to see how, you know, it, this, this would definitely be better than uh, the movie I saw. And promise to see me, ma'am. I think I made a promise that... Uh, the kids would have a visit uh, to ice cream factory as well as chocolate factory. And my promise that the kids will show you how it is being made. And that's my promise to you, man. It will happen pretty soon. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. I wish kids all the best. And I'm excited to see the place first. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Your words will always echo in our hearts. May we now request Headmistress Ma'am to propose the vote of thanks? I'm very happy to be here and to be able to thank everyone who is here this morning. But before I do that, I just want to say a few lines about the play that you're going to see. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's a children's story. On the surface of it, it's about five children who visit a chocolate factory. One of the children at the end inherits a chocolate factory. But I'm sure once the presentation is over and you will have time to reflect about it, you will see it's not just a children's story. It's actually a morality tale. The children on the stage are going to be telling you about so many values that were relevant 50 years ago when the book was written and are still relevant today and will be relevant tomorrow also. Some of the themes that maybe you can think about once the presentation is over is about greed, children are greedy for chocolates, about good and bad parenting, about dreaming big and being able to achieve these dreams and above all I think the children are going to tell you that nothing is impossible. All we need to do is to make the effort. So, um, biggest thanks goes to the children who are going to be our little teachers on the stage today and tell you about all these values. A big thanks to all the teachers, the class teachers, the subject teachers, the dance teachers, the music teachers, the decoration staff, everybody. Um, Rajni, Benita, Everyone who has gotten together to put the show together. Or we may better be a sochriti. When sir was talking about goodness, science may class six or seven may have retire chatata opposite poles attract. Now I challenge that because otherwise how can we have so many good people together under one roof? This is like poles attracting. A big thanks to all the parents who are here. A big thanks to the grandparents. Thank you to Sangeeta ma'am for her involvement, for her suggestions, for her appreciation of my little children. Thank you to the vice principals for always being a pillar of support. Thank you Sanya, you have become an integral part of our family. Thank you for being here this morning. Mrs. Man, thank you so much. When I spoke to her last night over the phone, her consent to be here this morning was such a happy consent. So we are very happy to have you. And Rajdeep Man sir, like sir said, he's put it so appropriately, there could be no better guest today. Thank you so much for coming. Anil sir, thank you so much for being the springboard from where we live all these values in school. We're not just projecting them on this stage. We, we tell our children we have to live these values. Hence, we say, living values, nurturing dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you ma'am. Now let us take all of you to our play 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie Bucket's family, his parents and his four grandparents all live together in a small house. They are poor, hungry, cold and pretty much in dire straits. The one thing that brightens up Charlie's life is the Chocolate Factory. The factory is owned by Mr. Willy Wonka, an eccentric gentleman who has decided to open the doors of his factory to five lucky children and their parents. In order to choose who will enter the factory, Mr. Wonka devises a plan. He devises a plan to hide five golden tickets beneath the wrappers of his famous chocolate bars. The search for the golden tickets is fast and furious. Defying all odds, Charlie claims the fifth and the final ticket. His joy has no bounds as he sings. I have got a golden ticket and a golden twinkle in my eye. I never had a chance to shine, never a happy song to sing. But suddenly, half the world is mine. What an amazing thing! To find out what happens next, let's put our hands together for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. 
wisdom in dreams separates the sorrow and collects up all the cream. A candy for me, please. A mango flavored, delicious one. Oh, here it is. Nutty Choco Wonka Donut for me. Your favorite one? Yeah. There you go. A scrumdacious one for me. Oh, here it is. A scrum. <laughs> Same for me. Oh, there you go. A fructitious one for me. And a nutty chocolatious for my sister. Here is for you and your sister. Hey kiddos, enjoy your manga candy. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Unbelievable. Hi Rob. Hi David. 
Did you hear? Willy Wonka's opening is factory. What? And not only this, he's gonna let people in. After so many years, Willy Wonka is opening his factory and gonna let people in? Yes! Unbelievable! Here we have an important announcement. Hidden among the countless billions of Wonka bars are five gold tickets. And the five people who find them will come the most fabulous prize one could wish for a lifetime supply of chocolates. And each winner, before he receives his prize, will personally be escorted to the top secret chocolate factory. Grandpa, do you think I have got a chance to find one? But I am counting on you to find all five. One's enough for me. Hurry up, Charlie. You'll get late for school. Yeah, Mom. I'm ready. Here's lunchbox. Now rush to school. Bye, Mom. Bye, Grandpa Joe. Bye, dear. Now, something about the sensation that has caught the whole world. The five gold tickets have caused the ripples of excitement in every corner of the earth. Already, we have reports coming in that Wonka bars are beginning to disappear from candy store shelves at the rate to boggle the mind. We began with the five gold tickets like the five lucky bolts of lightning ready to strike. No one knew where, no one knew when. The first one would hit. Last night, we got our answer. While we in America slept, the first golden ticket was found in a small town of Dishlam, Germany. Let's see the reaction of people in Germany. The attention of the entire world focuses today right here in Dishlam. As the finder of the first golden ticket, is none other but a young German, Augustus Glue. Augustus Glue, the pride of the Sunim. The fame of wrestling Germany is right here with us. Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first gold and you can find her? Hungry. Any other feeling? Feel sorry for Wonka. It's gonna cost him a fortune in fudge. Mrs. Glue, would you mind saying? Mrs. Lu, would you care to say a few words to the television audience? I just knew Augustus would find a golden ticket. Eating is his hobby, you know. We encourage him. He wouldn't do it unless he needed the nourishment. Would he? Anyway, it's all vitamins. Find one. Hey everybody, have a bite. No, no, no. 
you eat it? Certainly not. No, no. Why not? We'll all have a bite. You always say, sharing is caring. And caring is sharing. <laughs> for a golden ticket for you. Alright, where is it? Why haven't they found it? Veruka, sweetheart, I'm not a magician. Give me time. Time? I don't have time. I want it now. What's the matter with those twelves down there? Veruka, Veruka. For five days now, the entire flipping factory has been on the job. They have been shelling the flaming chocolate bars from dawn to dusk. Make them work nights. Come along, come along girls. Put a jack on it or you'll be out. Every one of you. And listen to this. The first one to find a golden ticket gets a one pound bonus. I got it, I got it Mr. Sart. Here it is. Give me that ticket. Mine! I found a golden ticket! Thank God for that! Hey, happiness is what counts with children. Happiness and harmony. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now nearing the end of our 43rd day in the hunt for golden tickets. And everywhere we are beginning to see signs of anxiety. Every hour on the hour, new shipments are being sent to different points around the globe. Who would have thought that it can happen right here too? Unbelievable as it sounds. Miss Violet Beauregard, final of Wonga's golden ticket number three is from Mile City, Montana. Let us connect to the lucky winner. Congratulations, Violet. Would you care to say a few words to the nation? Sure, I will. Here it is. Golden ticket number three and it's all mine. Tell us how it happened, Violet. Well, I am a gum chewer, normally. But when I heard about these ticket things of Wonka's, I laid off the gum and switched to candy bars instead. And we bought a truck full of candy bars so that our princess gets a better chance to find the golden ticket. And now of course, she's right back on gum. I chew it all day, except at meal times when I stick it behind my ear. Violet! Cool it, mother. Now this piece here is one that I have been chewing for three months solid. And that's a world record. She has beaten the record held by her best friend, Miss Cornelia Prince Metal. Oh gosh, how mad she was at me. Who would have thought that there can be a champion of gum chewing? I wanted to tell you something. Oh, they found the third ticket today. Did they? Yeah, well, I will be going now. Is that all? Well, I thought you would like to know. Most people are pretty interested. I know I am interested. There are only two tickets left, you know. Just two. Pretty soon, just one. I wonder who the lucky ones will be. Well, if you are wondering, it will be me. It won't be. Just in case you are wondering, you can count me out. Cheer up Charlie, give us a smile. What happened to that smile we used to know? Don't you know your grin has always been our sunshine. Let that sunshine show. Cheer up Charlie, do cheer up. While the rest of the world goes on searching, here 
in the southwest. It has actually happened. That's what I said, friends. There is only one golden ticket left in the entire world because right here in our own community of Marble Falls, Arizona is the lucky winner number four. Now the name soon to be heard around the universe is Mike TV. Mike, the country wants to hear from you. The world is waiting. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. Boy, what a great show. I serve all his TV dinners right here. He's never been to the table. You love to watch TV, Mike? You bet. What about the golden ticket? That's what we all came to hear. Hold it. I want to catch this. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life is all about? Mike, would you tell us? Wait till I get a real one. Called 45. Mom, won't you let me have one yet? Will you, Mom? Not till you are 12, son. Would you wake me up, Grandpa? Is something wrong? Grandpa, that money was for your medicine. I told you, Charlie, I'm perfectly fine. Go on, open it. One ticket left. Now let's see some of that gold. No, you do it. I can't. Something tells me we are going to be lucky this time. I've got a funny feeling inside. Which end shall I open first? That one. Just a tiny bit. Like this? Now a bit more. You finish it. I can't. No. Grandpa, you do it. Alright. Here goes. Oh no. There's nothing. You know, I bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. Maybe you're right. Cheer up, Grandpa. You always say, maybe there's something better in store for me. It's newspaper time. Time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Grandpa. Oh, what's the shining? That's a coin. Somebody there? Someone there? Of course, it's mine. I will buy a bar of chocolate. Hi! Hi! I'd like a bar of chocolate, please. Yeah, sure. What kind? A Slugwood Sizzler or a Wonka Scrum Delicious? Of course, a Wonka Scrum Delicious. Yeah, sure, kiddo. Thanks! Enjoy your candy! Find 
find the secret formula. Your revolt will be 10,000 of these. Think it's over, will you? A new house for your family and good food and comfort for the rest of their lives. And don't forget the name, Everlasting Cop Stopper. of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present this ticket at Practy Gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family but no one else. In your wildest dreams, you could not imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. Charlie, you've done it! I can't believe it! Grandpa, I can take somebody with me. Grandpa Joe, I want you to come with me. Oh sure, Charlie. Stop! It says the 1st of October. That's tomorrow. Jumping crocodiles! Charlie, we've got a lot to do. Comb your hair, wash your face, polish your shoes and brush your... I'll take care of everything, Dad. We don't have too much time. Relax, Dad, relax. Hey, Mom, we're on TV. Hi, everybody in Marvel Falls. Hi, Billy. Hi, Buggy. Hi, Fish Face. How do I look? You guys ready? You're on. This is the big day, the historic day on which Willy Wonka has promised to open his gates and share gifts on the five lucky winners. From all over the globe, people have gathered here, waiting for the art to strike, waiting to catch a glimpse of that legendary magician, Mr. Willy Wonka. Hi friends. Mrs. Beauregard here. The next time you're in Mile City, Montana, don't forget to visit Beauregard's Automart. Cut it out, Mom. For heaven's sake, this is my show. Hi, Cornelia, sweetie. I've still got it. And how's this for a stretch? I want to go in first before anybody else. Anything you say, sweetheart? Save some room for later, Augustus, darling. Grandpa, hmm? I don't believe it. We did it. We are actually going in. We are going to see the greatest of them all, Mr. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you. Welcome my friends. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Would you come forward please? Peru come first. Get back you. Come on Rebuka sweetheart. That's robot. That's the one I have told you about. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. And now, would you please show me your golden tickets? I am Veruka Sol. My dear Veruka, what a pleasure. And how pretty you look in that lovely mink coat. I have got three others at home. And Mr. Salt, oh a joy to see you sir. Would you just step over there for a minute? Augustus Clue. Augustus, my dear boy, how good to see you and in such a fine shape. And this must be the radiant Mrs. Glue. Just over there, dear lady. Violet Beauregard. Darling child, welcome to Wonka's. What kind of gum you got here? Charming, charming. If you ever need anything in the automotive line, just call my husband. Phone numbers on the card. With my husband, it's a guarantee. I am my TV. My. Bam. You're dead. Wonderful to meet you, Mike and Mrs. TV. How do you do? What an adorable little boy you have. Thank you. Just over there. Charlie Bucket. Well, well. Charlie Bucket, I read all about you in the papers. I'm so happy for you. And who is this gentleman? My grandfather, Grandpa Joe. Delighted to meet you, sir. Overjoyed, enraptured, entranced. Are we ready? Yes. Good. In we go. Let's go away. Come on. Patience. Patience, little dear. Everything has to be in order. Everyone signed? Yes. Good. On we go. Now we enter a room which you would have never seen before. What? Oh yeah, it's very beautiful. Do you like my meadow? Try some of my grass. Please have a blade. Please do. It's so delectable and so darn good looking. You can't eat the grass? Of course you can. Everything in this room is edible. Enjoy. Go on. Scoot. Scoot. Why hold on to it? Why not just start a new piece? Because then I won't be a champion. I'd be a loser, like you. What a disgusting, dirty river! It's industrial waste, Wonka. It's polluted. You have spoiled your watershed. It's chocolate. That's chocolate? That's chocolate. A chocolate river? That's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. Every drop of the river is hot melted chocolate of the finest quality. Daddy, look over there. What is it? It's a little person. Over there, by the waterfall. There's two of them. There's more than two. Where do they come from? Who are they? Are they real people? Of course they are real people. They are Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas? Imported. Direct from Loompa Land. There is no such place. What? Mr. Wonka, I teach high school geography and I am here to tell you. Oh well, then you know all about it. 
and what a terrible country it is. Nothing but desolation, hopelessness and fierce beast. And the poor little Oompa Loompas were so small and helpless, they would get gobbled up right and left. And so I said, come and live with me in peace and safety. Hey daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. I want you to get me an Oompa Loompa right away. Alright Veruka, alright. I'll get you one before the day is out. I want an Oompa Loompa now. Hmm, this stuff is terrific. I need a bucket to drink it properly. Grandpa, look at Augustus. Don't worry, he can't drink it all. Augustus, sweetheart, save some room for later. Oh, ugh, Augustus, please don't do that. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Please, don't do that. Don't do that. You are contaminating my entire river. Please, I beg you, Augustus. Man overboard! My chocolate! Help! I'm drowning in chocolate! My chocolate! My beautiful chocolate! Help! I can't swim! Fish me out! Don't just stand there! Do something! Help! Police! Murder!
Bravo! Well done! Aren't they delightful? Aren't they charming? I do say that all seem rather rehearsed. Like they knew it was gonna happen. Oh, Bobby Cop, where is my son? Where does that bike go to? Oh, that one. It leads directly to the room where I make the most delicious kind of strawberry flavored chocolate coated fudge. Then he will be made into strawberry flavored chocolate coated fudge? They will be selling him a pound all over the world? No, I won't allow it. The taste would be terrible. Can you imagine Augustus flavored chocolate coated glue? Oh, no one would buy it. I want you to take Mrs. Glue up to the fudge room, okay? Help her find her son. Mr. Wonka? Huh? Why would Augustus' name already be in the Oompa Loompa song? Improvisation is a parlor trick. Anyone can do it. You little girl, say something. Uh, me? Anything. Uh, chewing gum. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum, I hate the most. Grandpa, will Oompa Loompas turn Augustus into chocolate? Of course not. They're joking. That boy will be fine. On with the tour. Now we enter the inventing room. Is this the inventing room? It looks more like a Turkish bath to me. Even if Slubboat did get in here, he couldn't find anything. Should you be wearing rubber gloves? You will have the health inspectors after you. You know that, don't you? Invention, my dear friends, is 93% perspiration, 6% electricity, 4% evaporation, and 2% butterscotch ripple. That's 105%. Any good? Yes. Excuse me, time is a precious thing. Never waste it. He's absolutely bonkers. Mm. My! I told you not to, silly boy. Boy! That's great stuff. That's exploding candy for your enemies. Great idea, isn't it? Not ready yet, though still too weak. Needs more gelignite. What's that for? Gives it a little kick. Hey, Mr. Wonka, what's this? Oh, let me show you. Thank you. These are everlasting gobstoppers. They are for children who are given very little allowance money. You can suck on it all year and it will never get any smaller. Isn't that neat? Come, try some. Each one of you. Me! Me! I do! I do! I can only give them to you if you solemnly swear to keep them for yourselves and never show them to anyone else. Agreed? Agreed! Good! One for you and one for you and one for you. What about Charlie? And one for Charlie. Hey! She has got two! I want another one! Stop quacking with it! Everyone has had one and one is enough for anybody. Now come along. Now over here, if you will follow me, I have something rather special to show you. amazing and sensational gum in the whole universe. Know why? Know why? Cause this gum is a full three course dinner all by itself. Why would anyone want that? It will be the end of all kitchens and all cooking. Just a little strip of Wonka's magic chewing gum and that is all you will ever need at breakfast, lunch and dinner. This piece 
piece of gum happens to be tomato soup, cheeseburger and blueberry pie. It sounds great. It sounds weird. It sounds like my kind of gum. I, I would rather you didn't. There's still one or two things that are. I am the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything.
move double time just to keep on schedule. There is far too much to see. What's the special prize and who gets it? The best kind of prize is a surprise. Will wallet always be a blueberry? No, maybe. I don't know. But that's what you get from chewing gum all day. It's just disgusting. If you hate gum so much, why do you make it? Once again, you really shouldn't mumble. Cause it's kind of starting to annoy me. What's that noise? Well, something very unusual in here. Let's go. Something very unusual in here. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. But not a drop to drink yet. What's it making, Mr. Wonka? Fizzy lifting drinks. They fill you with gas and the gas is so terrifically lifting that it lifts you right off the ground like a balloon. Oh, isn't it high? Gosh, but I don't sell it yet. It's still too powerful. Come on, let us try some. Please. Oh, let us try some. Don't be mean. No, no. Absolutely not. There'd be children floating around all over the place. Come along now. Don't hang about. You are going to be wild about this next room. Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. Yeah? A small one won't hurt us. Hmm. Not bad. Well, nothing's happening. We are not floating. You're right, Charlie. I can't understand w w why. Oh, oh, I feel terribly strange. Grandpa, hurry. They have already entered another room. Squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. These squirrels are specially trained to get the nuts out of shells. You use squirrels? Why not use Oompa Loompa? Because only squirrels can get the whole walnut out almost every single time. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Get me one of those squirrels. I want one. Veruca, dear, you have many marvelous pets. All I've got at home is one pony, two dogs, four cats, six rabbits, two parakeets, three cranberries, a green parrot, and a turtle, and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel. All right, pet. Daddy will get you a squirrel. Just as soon as she possible can. I don't want any old squirrel. I want a trained squirrel. Very well. Mr. Wonka, how much do you want for one of these squirrels? Name your price. Oh, they are not for sale. She can't have one. Daddy! They are not for sale. Name your price. She can't have one. Who says I can't? The man with the funny hat. If you won't get me a squirrel, I'll get one myself. Veruca, little girl. Veruca, come back here at once. Veruca, little girl, don't touch that squirrel's nuts. It will make him crazy. I have you. Veruca, Veruca. Daddy, Veruca. Daddy, I want them to stop. What are they doing? They are testing to see if she is a bad nut. Oh my goodness, she is a bad nut after all. Veruca, Daddy, where are they taking her? Where all the other bad nuts go? To the garbage chute. Veruca Sol, Veruca Sol, the little brute has just gone down the rubbish chute. Veruca Sol, Veruca Sol, the little brute has just gone down the rubbish chute.
sometimes only half the little pieces find their way through. If you had to choose only one half of your sun, which one would it be? What kind of question is that? No need to snap, just a question. Try every channel. I'm starting to feel a little anxious. Oh, thank heavens, he's completely unharmed. Unharmed? What do you mean? There's no other way. It's television, not telephone. There's quite a difference. What are you going to do about it? Don't worry about it, I feel a song. I'm famous. I'm a TV star. Wait till the kids back home hear about this. Nobody's gonna hear about this. Steal anything. 
you store fizzy lifting drinks so you get nothing you lose good day so you are a crook you are a cheat and a swindler that's what you are how can you do a thing like this build up a little boy's hopes and smash all his dreams to pieces you are an inhuman monster i said good day come on charlie let's get out of here i'll get even with him if it's the last thing i'll ever do if slugworth wants a gobstopper he'll get one no grandpa we are not gonna do that mr wonka here is your gobstopper so shines a good deed in a weary world charlie my boy you won you did it you did it i knew you would i just knew you would oh charlie forgive me for putting you through this please forgive me come in mr wilkinson charlie meet mr wilkinson pleasure slugworth no no that's not slugworth he works for me for you i had to test you charlie and you passed the test you won one what the jackpot my dear sir the grand and glorious jackpot the chocolate the chocolate yes the chocolate but that's just the beginning we have to get on we have to get on wonka waiter step in charlie grandpa joe sir this is the great glass wonka waiter it's an elevator it's a wonka waiter an elevator can only go up and down but the wonka waiter can go sideways and slantways and longways and backways and frontways it can take you to any room in the whole factory just by pressing one of these buttons hey come on take a look the lift has stopped and hung with air it is hovering like a helicopter hovering over the factory and over the very town itself which lay spread below is like a picture postcard grandpa our town looks so pretty from up here yeah look over here charlie i think i see our house wow it really looks beautiful there's my school grandpa how did you like the chocolate factory charlie i think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world i'm very pleased to hear you say that because i'm giving it to you that's all right isn't it you're giving charlie the i can't go on forever and i don't really want to try so who can i trust to run the factory when i leave and take care of the oompa loompas for me not a grown up a grown up would want to do everything his own way not mine that's why i decided a long time ago i had to find a child a very honest loving child to whom i can tell all my most precious candy making secrets and that's why you sent out the golden tickets that's right so the factory is yours charlie you can move in immediately and me absolutely what happens to the rest of the whole family i want you to bring them all but charlie don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted what happened he lived happily ever after
say, I think. Positive. Yeah. Whenever you're feeling low or lost, just take a tip from me. You're wasting your time to count the cost. Cause thinking positive, that comes free. That's right. Positive is the way to be. Whenever I'm cheering on the brink, I think positive. The moment I do, I'm in the pink. I think positive.
May we now request all of you to rise for the national anthem. 